Mr. McFeely. Come in. Speedy Speedy Delivery. Delivery. Are you still interested in seeing how people make merry-go-round horses? Oh, certainly. I'd love to see that. My name is David Newell, and I've been in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood now for about 39 years, but people probably know me better as uh, Mr. McFeely, the speedy delivery man. <laughs> do you like going on a merry-go-round? Oh, I do, especially with my grandchildren. As Mr. McFeely, David Newell delivered more than 200 different videos showing children how people make things. They were, and still are, among the most popular segments of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Imagine what this machine is for. Fred wanted children to know that these things just don't happen magically, that a light bulb just doesn't appear there. It takes a person to make it. The Children's Museum of Pittsburgh is premiering How People Make Things, a traveling exhibit created in collaboration with the Mr. Rogers team at Family Communications. Right now we're standing in How People Make Things. We're in the assembly room, and this is one of four factory rooms that we've created to simulate the factories for how people make things. We have five areas. You start in the entry area, which simulates our office. Then you move into our cutting area, and there we have activities that involve cutting and manufacturing. Then you move into the molding area, and there we have uh, the different processes of molding. We have an injection molder. Uh, you'll be molding with wax. We also have simple molds where you can take a ball and put it in the mold it was made. This is mold filling and it's, a, it's the next step up from molding with wax. Uh, this lever kids can push down and as I do, uh, the mold of a fly swatter fills up with liquid just the same way it would in an injection molding machine. Then you move into the deforming area and there we have, it's a little more complex concept of deforming where we'll have activities like a vacuum former, so you can see how when you suck the air out, a shape is made. I don't know, look at that. Look at it, cool. The final room is where things are assembled, and since the exhibit was inspired by Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, it's only fitting that kids get to assemble a neighborhood trolley. We've taken the real Mr. Rogers trolley and modified it so kids can take it apart and put it together and then test it on a track. And then again, we have a robot who is doing that in an automated way. The staff at the Children's Museum expects this to be a popular exhibit because how people make things has something in it for kids of all ages. I almost forgot why I came over. I've been promising to bring you this uh, videotape. What it is, is it? called How People Make Colored Construction Paper. Perfect time for that. Nothing I right think now, would right? please Fred Rogers more and the Children's Museum and all of us at Family Communication than people would leave this exhibit and go home and be using one of the everyday objects that has been a part of their lives, a toy, a game, a spoon, and say, wow, I know how someone made that.